Hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to be looking at VSFTPD, which is um, very secure FTP daemon. Now, what is an FTP? FTP is File Transfer Protocol. It's basically a network protocol for transferring files between computers, um, and that is through TCP or IP connections. So, think of a big building, big office building, and everyone's working on a shared file, then, you know, how do we make it so a hundred people can have access to say a folder or a directory uh, so that we use FTP. F, uh, VSFTPD is the Linux version of FTP. Um, so we are going to be looking at the version 2.3.4 so, oh, I don't have anything open. Oh, here we are. So, just like always, like to do an end map, and Nessus has taken some time. Hopefully, we can open this up. I know that Nessus detected that FTP is running. And here it is on, let's just do this, on the Nmap scan. So before we start, I am going to open up Metasploit. So with the this uh, VSFTPD version 2.3.4, uh, there was a malicious backdoor that was added to the download archive. It looks like it was added between June 30th, uh, 2011 and July 1st. And then on July 3rd, the back door is removed, so uninstall, then reinstall it. Best to do it in the sandbox, then check it again. Make sure the uh, vulnerability is gone. So just like in the other video, we are going to be using... We're going to be going through a back door. And let's see what Nessus. Do I really have to do this again? Let's see if Nessus. I know Nessus says something about this, but I'm not sure. I don't remember if it actually says it. So we are looking for So we have the service's detection. So it is detecting it. And we can see that it's version 2.3.4. But does it actually say that there's a backdoor within that version? Because this, this, this uh, for the Unreal IRCD, which I did a video on before, it actually detected it. Um...
DNS, SSL, Apache. Maybe I'll do a video on um, NFS shares next. So it looks like it doesn't really uh, tell us, oops, doesn't really look like it tells us that much information. But Let's get started. So 9.6, it's always 9.6. Well, for me it is. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be searching. For the exploit. And... We have found it. So I believe we can just, instead of saying use, oops, use that whole thing, I'm pretty sure we can just say use zero. Awesome. And let's go ahead and show payloads. Okay, so there's just one. So we can also um, set, I know it already set. Why can't I click set? Okay, I guess it was already uh, defaulted to it. Okay, so now we uh, we got to see what we need to do for this. We can see that uh, the R host, we need to put that in. And the remote port is 21 because... Why is it 21? Because... FTP is running on 21. If you tried to do another port, it wouldn't work because it's you're you know you're trying to go through the wrong door basically. So let's minimize that. So let's go ahead and set the R host, and that is 10.0.0.96. That is it in my case. If you don't know your metasploitable IP address, you could do an IF config and it's right there. It also wouldn't, the first time you do this, it also wouldn't hurt to do an ARP uh, scan to make sure that your Linux machine is able to uh, view your metasploitable machine. If you're not able to view it, it might be behind um, NAT. So you'd want to either do a bridge adapter for the Kali Linux and for your metasploitable, or you want to, cr or which might be a little easier, is to create a NAT network, assign IP addresses, and then have those machines or all of the machines that you plan to test and work on in that NAT network. So we set the, oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to uh, show options. So it looks like we got that in there. And now what we can do is do exploit or run. Either one is fine. So it looks like it says that we have found a shell 
and one command shell session has opened up. We can do a uh, who am I root. We can also do an if config config and it'll show us some uh, network information like the IP address and the mask. We could do an ls. We can show some of the directories. We can do a pwd to see where we are. And that basically wraps it up. Quick, quick video. Um, but that's really just going through a back door. There's really not much information to it. We just need to make sure to set the uh, attack module, set the payload, which was defaulted. There's only one payload for this. And then we want to, the L port is already set because it's 21. And then we also need to put down and set the remote host, the, the host that we're going to be attacking. So once we've gotten that, all of this, all of the required steps are completed. And then we can click exploit. And then the payload will uh, run. And we, will, uh, we were able to take advantage of the back door. Very interesting.